one of our establishments close by the office and they've got gutters filled up. Uh, these gutters need to be cleaned at least four times a year with the amount of maples and seed pods that they have hovering over. It's not their trees, it's their neighbors. Oh, they have got one. They got one of theirs. So, can't blame it all on the neighbors. Anyways, the, uh, this, this gutter here is, has been overflown for so long, it's actually sagged right down. And the fascia board is completely rotted, so we need to come back about eight, eight to ten feet in this direction. Eight to ten feet all the way to the wall place the rotted fascia board and then they've got a freeze board that's made out of a compressed almost OSB I don't know what materials on there but it's even the seam of it is is punked out so we're actually we may have to go beyond the seam the problem is up above that is a wall is uh, shingle flashings so we don't know what we're gonna get into when we start just uh, taking that apart but this brick has been getting wet and it's obviously it's decaying and been uh, washing out so after this is done the brick needs to be power washed the gutters are too small for this amount of roof line uh, they got standard five inch gutters with standard two by three inch downspouts I'm going to recommend changing these to six inch gutters and three by four commercial size downspouts to deliver the load and I'm going to also give them the option of gutter helmet to help keep the debris out so that's what we'll tell them and let them make their decision also on the other side of this the gutters are packed solid but the the damage hasn't started to occur as it has here